one of the larger elements that I decided to take a crack at on my extended cuts of the Hobbit films was the color grade. Now, to be clear, I am not someone that hated the original look of the film. In fact, I quite enjoyed it. <clears throat> However, wanting these six films to more seamlessly sit side by side, I decided to go into the films and just nudge the grade slightly. And that really was what I discovered to be so important. I was just pushing ever so slightly the original grade. If I did anything too dramatic, and I did try, it would really start to take away from and distract from the content of the scene. Just like my edits, I actually want the color grade to be rather invisible. I don't want it drawing attention to itself. I want a casual viewer to finish this film and go, you know, I didn't really notice anything different, but it did feel better and seem more congruent with the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I've heard a lot of people gripe and groan specifically about the softness of the image found in the Desolation of Smaug and the Battle of the Five Armies, and I'm going to tell you right now, unfortunately that is not something that I can, at this stage, change. That specific look, which I'm pretty sure was chosen to balance out the crispness of the 48 frames per second, is baked in there. What I can still do, though, is alter the overall color grade, including the overall saturation, vibrance, and tinting. The primary locations that I really pulled back on in film 1 were Hobbiton and Rivendell. For the most part, just bumping down ever so slightly the overall vibrance and saturation did a lot. I was regularly comparing and contrasting screen grabs from the theatrical cut color grade of The Fellowship of the Ring and An Unexpected Journey. And with all this, I really did find that less is more. If I was a professional color grader or had months and months to rework the footage, sure, I would probably come up with something a bit better, but given the time, skills, and software at my disposal, I was rather pleased with the finished product.